le cinéaste philippin Lino Broca, révélé à Cannes ces dernières années avec des films tels que Jaguar ou Bayanko, est un des opposants les plus résolus à la dictature du président Marcos. Empêché par le régime de sortir de son pays, et alors que s'ouvre son procès, c'est à Manille même qu'il a pu être filmé pour nous il y a cinq jours. Lino Broca You were in jail recently. Yes, What I was. What was it like there? Uh, well, I was arrested January 28th, and uh, I was released uh, on uh, February 14th, together with uh, 40 others uh, who were involved with uh, the strike, uh, the jeepney transport strike. And do you know why you were sent to jail? Because of your films or because of your public activities? Well. Uh, uh, I really don't know. Uh, I think it's basically because uh, we have uh, stood up and uh, spoken against uh, the present government, the dictatorship of uh, President Marcos at the moment. Uh, we are involved with the protest movement. I'm a member of uh, a cause-oriented group, and I'm chairman of the uh, concerned artists of the Philippines. And uh, I have made a film which was sent to the Cannes Film Festival uh, early last year and uh, this has gotten into trouble with the Board of Censors. So probably it's a combination of all these things. Uh, but basically I think it is uh, because uh, we have stood up and spoken uh, vocally against uh, the present uh, administration, President Marcos. You are a very well-known person here. It must have been quite embarrassing for the police to arrest you, no? Well, yeah, because most of the, some of these policemen uh, we use in our film. As a matter of fact, if you have seen Bayanko, you will see real policemen, a real major. And these were stationed at the Northern Police District uh, uh, where we were first detained, uh, when, uh, where we were first brought to when we were uh, arrested. Some of these people are in our, some of these police are in our payroll. They act as our security and sometimes, most of the time they appear, some of them appear in my movies as uh, extras or background extras. This is very evident in the film uh, Bayanko that you also do commercial films. Oh yes, definitely, that's part of it. Uh, definitely, I uh, would like to be in the commercial mainstream. It is important that uh, we compete in the commercial mainstream because uh, this is the way that I'm able to do the more serious films, the very few serious films that I am able to, uh, to do. It's, I owe to the uh, reputation that I have in the commercial uh, box office uh, uh, syndrome. Will you be going to Cannes this year? No, I'm not going to Cannes this year, mainly because I have no film. Uh, and also because there's no reason for me to, uh, to go there. Uh, but I'll be going to Paris, hopefully, if uh, my passport is uh, given to me, if they allow me to go. For the time being, you haven't got your passport? No, uh, they have had it for about six months now, the foreign affairs. Uh, I had it renewed and they kept it. And they said, uh, because pending my in the investigation of my activities abroad, and I told them there's nothing to investigate. I think they're basing it, uh, they're speaking more or less, they're referring to the interviews that I had during the Cannes Film Festival last year. I said, and there's nothing to hide. I said, I do not approve of this government. I said, and I do not approve of this particular administration. And I said, what I say there, I say here. What I say here, I say there. So there's nothing to investigate. Well, uh, it's hot and uh, I still have to do my dubbing and much as I love to talk, uh, we've been talking for the last so many minutes, I have uh, to go. But before I go, I would like to say a few words of thanks. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, uh, the people, our friends and colleagues in uh, Paris, in the Cannes Film Festival and all the other festivals abroad who supported us and rallied in our support uh, the international pressure that they uh, gave and showed us, uh, helped us in, uh, for, our early, uh, for the, our early release and for the lifting of the preventive detentive action uh, that uh, we had. So to all the friends and colleagues in the cinema all over the world, thank you for all your support. And in behalf of all the freedom-loving artists of the world, thank you very much. And I have to go. Thank you. See you later.